You gonna ask the question? Has this ever happened to you? I need to close at least one of my five billion tabs or else my computer will blow up. But if I don't finish that Wikipedia article on quantum tunneling later, I'm gonna literally die! That's because you're not using Opera GX, the world's greatest gaming web browser and sponsor of today's video. With the GX control feature of Opera GX, I can limit the amount of CPU and RAM I'm using so I can keep all my tabs open without sacrificing performance on my gaming or computing experience. Don't take my word for it, the results speak for themselves. Also, there's the network limiter feature, so you don't drop any packets in CS 1.6 while streaming every episode of Sopranos twice. Opera GX is also all about accessibility and customization. You can customize the browser with special themes, wallpapers, and colors. You can literally make it look whatever way you want. You can go all out there making it pristine. That doesn't mean you should, but you can. And frankly, that's the point. On top of all that, the GX Corner keeps me up to date with the latest gaming news, deals, and releases all in one place. And finally, exclusive for my subscribers, when you download Opera GX via my link, you'll have a feature in your GX Corner where you'll be able to see my 12 latest uploaded videos. Wow! 15 years of content archived in one convenient place! You can also get this awesome custom JonTron wallpaper right in the browser itself. And don't forget to rate it 5 stars, because... So, in conclusion, if you're tired of slow, generic browsers, give Opera GX a try. Trust me, you won't regret it. Use my link below to download Opera GX today. And now, it's video time. Welcome to JonTron's Dating Show, Dating Show, with your host, JonTron. Love in the modern age. Where the hell are you gonna find it? How are you supposed to meet Mr. or Mrs. Wright when all you've got at your disposal is a display pic of you trying your best not to look like a serial killer and a message saying, what a coincidence, I too mix up fettuccine and linguine. Wanna meet at Quiznos? And how many collective hours have we all wasted talking to Victoria only to find out it's Vignesh? A relatable tragedy. In my opinion, you should have been tipped off when she asked, how does your bobs look from a 45 degree angle in open sunlight, but we've all been there, so I'm not gonna judge. And that's exactly why you've gotta turn to the strategy that really works. That's right, in this loveless age, the dating show is still the best possible approach to finding your forever sweetheart. Which one is right for you? All this and more on this edition of the John Tron Dating Show, Dating Show. And if you, didn't, if you don't think that's a good name, I don't wanna hear it. So yeah, today I thought we'd have a little fun and watch some of the most out there dating shows that I've been watching and enjoying recently. I've never actually understood the type of person to volunteer themselves for something like this. And I'd like to see the stats of if there's been even like a single lasting relationship to come out of one of these exhibitions. But I digress. On to our first contestant. And a lucky number one is gonna be Cut's classic, The Button. Strap in folks, you'll need it. Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. So basically, if you've never seen this show, the people behind The Button said, what if Tinder wasn't just an app you used privately on your own off time, but rather an immediate situation taking place in front of your own face so you can more directly feel the shame of rejection and more importantly, not hide the shame from millions of onlookers as you cry out for help internally. Sorry. So yes, you heard me right. In this show, they basically set up two people face to face and as soon as the button there in the middle turns red, one of them can hit it to just reject the other. What can, what can I say? It's a, real, it's a real dating show with a Tinder overlay. The worst of both worlds. And I, I can't wait to watch. So let's enjoy. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm Seth. I'm Alex. Okay, we got our first two beauties here. Let's see how it turns out. What do you do for work? Uh, mechanical engineer. Okay, my sister's a civil engineer. Oh, uh, okay. So. Okay, that's nice. We already got some common ground. Not bad, there's hope yet. Let's let's keep going. Gotcha. Are you really good at math? No, no. <laughs> how do you be a mechanical engineer and not be good at math? That's like the thing. I mean, what is this hieroglyphic shit? All right, it's all Greek to me. I don't know, I'm not talking about Pythagoras. Can you give her three compliments? Three compliments. Uh, I literally just said I wasn't good at math, but uh, I love your hair. Thanks. And your glasses. Thanks. And uh, yeah, I like how you're matching. You got the purple, the blue. <laughs> Thank you. Looks Thanks. like uh, you just got back from the uh, When We Were Young Festival. What the hell is he saying? Sorry, man, you didn't stick the landing. You're getting that. She's reaching out already. You're getting that. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I suck. I'm Alex. How you doing, Alex? Nice to meet you. Oh my God. He's really gonna just waltz in straight up with that energy? Boom, hey! That's how we do back in the neighborhood. How you doing, Alex? 
I'm just a fan of the button. I'm just a big fan. Why are you a fan of the button, though? You jealous, Ken? I mean, I ain't really the jealous type. Like, I don't be in my feelings like that. I know what I'm worth and what I look like. No offense. <laughs> yeah, you're Sorry. good. You're fine. I mean, I know what I'm worth, but I'm gonna uh, be needing back that secret boys club handshake. Yeah, no, you, don't tell me you thought that was free. This girl's a bit picky, though, isn't she? I mean, she's just nuking people left and right. Who is gonna be your type? Nice What's to meet you. My name is Bonko. Oh my god, Bonko? Whose type is he not? That's the real question. This is a confident man. This is a man who knows what he wants. This is a man who knows who he is. This is a man who's decided on his own that pants are basically obsolete. Okay? I, I'm loving it. Maybe this will be your pick. What do you do? Um, I work in board game development. Bonko, do you play board games? Actually, I do. Yeah? What board games do you like to play? It's like a Bulgarian ones. What's the name of the game? Shushka. But that's not all. There's many other classics, such as Art O Man, uh, Who Can First Black Out on the Schlievevice, and of, of course, this one needs no introduction. Everyone's favorite, Don't Wake Khan Kroom. Great game. You will notice the lack of player pieces. It is because they have all woken the Khan and are now deceased. Oh no. Oh, okay, very cool. <laughs> it's Bulgarian, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Are you from Bulgaria? No, I'm just the fourth Animaniac. Yakko, Wacko, Dot, and Banko. Yeah, of course I'm Bulgarian! What do you think? I know you're not English, because you ain't no Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I'm from Bulgaria. Okay. Just for your reference, in Bulgarian, that means goodbye. It could be a tough language, but you'll pick up on it. All right, Banko's going to be a difficult high watermark to reach, but next up we have Sequoia and Rosie. Hey, I love doing? the color combo. Thank you, I like yours as well. Thank you, I'm Sequoia. I'm Rosie. Nice to meet you. Rosie is terrified of birds. Oh, like all birds? Oh, does that bother you? Like, I brought that with me. Sorry, is this, is that gonna be a problem? I'll get rid of these guys. Dang, just put my business out there right The button's are very good at that. Yeah, seriously, why are they just immediately dropping her phobia? Yeah, so like, no outside eating. Like, you can't do like a picnic? I love no, a picnic. what if a seagull swoops down? What has it do? happened to you? It has. Okay. Oh, you don't think so? Well then have a look at this. Kurva! And how about this? Pounce, pounce, pounce. Yes! Boom, fatty, fucking <laughs> jackpot! And oh no. It does not stop there. Disgusting. <laughs> how can you blame the everyman for taking the law back into his own hands? I like how it started off with like, Dad, watch out! And just ended with, Dad, did you just punch the bird? So like, here's the thing with birds. They are dinosaurs. Bet you never thought about it like that, huh? Feeling stupid? Is that actually true though? Because people always say that. You know, let, let's, let's do some investigating. Are birds dinosaurs? Ask your average paleontologist who's familiar with the phylogeny of vertebrates and they will probably tell you that yes, Birds, avians, are dinosaurs! By God, she's right! And they even have some audio reference for us here, so let's take a look at that. <laughs> Dear God, she's right! Oh! They're dinosaurs! Fuck, they're dinosaurs! Anyways, yeah, they are dinosaurs, so we can give that to her. So are you scared of dinosaurs? Factual, are you not? I don't Whoa. Justified, okay? You're the weird one? Okay, you're the one. What do you have, like a non functioning amygdala? You got no fear instinct, and that's the problem. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hello. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sam, Samantha. All of a sudden, these ones are blindfolded. I don't know, they just uh, decided to introduce that element, I guess. What is something that you watch by yourself that's a guilty pleasure that you don't tell anybody? I'm I mean, curious. I watch a lot of anime. <laughs> what? No. Well, you hide it well. Especially under all that Demon Slayer cosplay. Yeah, like prog rock, that's a big one for me. I'm kind of like into like Sino-Russian, you know, conflict history. Like, it's kind of, I don't know why people just like assume like Shrek's the only thing I'm into. Cause it's like, <clears throat> like it's not like, it's not like my main identity. Uh, can we hug? Sure. Okay. Oh no, he didn't. No, he did not just go there. Hi, how are you? Good, you need a hug. You do. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. She needed a hug and look what you did. Shit. Darn. Why Nathan? Even the button feels the pain. Why Nathan? Why? Why did you have to do it with such flair, style, and assassin-like accuracy? 
Okay, I can't see anything because I don't have my glasses on. So they didn't need to blindfold her. <laughs> She's blind anyway. Bye, Sam. Goodbye. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, everyone, give a round of applause to the button. What a great showing. But what about contestant number two? That'll be Dating in the Dark, a show where they literally jam people of the opposite sex in a room and flip the light switch. Hey, economical if nothing else, right? Especially in these times. <laughs> Anyways, show us what you got. Okay, you're really gonna love this next one here. Like I said, uh, just basically the whole concept is it's people having dates together in the dark. They can't see each other, that's the gimmick or whatever. Ostensibly, they're supposed to find out if they like each other for who they truly are, and, you know, not just their looks. And plus, let's be honest, it's better this way. You know, naked social interaction, it's icky. This is more modern, you know, more current century. So, let's have a look. Inside this secluded house, a most unusual dating experiment is about to take place. Because screw falling in love naturally, you know, that does not lend itself well to a multi-season format. Three single women take your time. and three single men will meet in complete darkness. No, that's not a wallet. The, oh, no, that's not a wallet. <laughs> I'm just very happy to see you. Yeah, don't worry about its rectangular shape. That's normal. Hey, man, I don't know if you know this, but we can see, you know, where she's touching there. So unless your junk is on the side of your leg, maybe you should see a doctor. I'm Joey, I'm 31 years old. I'm an engineer, I'm from South Jersey. Being from Jersey, I'm a straight shooter. You never have to guess what I'm thinking. I'm gonna tell you what's exactly in my mind and all the time. People assume we're always thinking about pizza, the Jersey Devil, or boardwalks, but those are just stereotypes. I'm usually thinking about why Jersey's called the Garden State, because I haven't seen green in this bitch for miles. Anyways, me telling it like it is has nothing to do with the fact that I had to resort to doing this show, so don't say that about me. Sometimes I'm gonna hurt your feelings, but you can definitely give it back to me, I can take it. Who's willing to take bets that Joey can't take it, huh? You know, I'm willing to go all in that Joey can't even take constructive criticism on his spaghetti bolognese. I think that doing the dating in the dark will show women like, okay, this guy is not taking any b I'm just gonna tell him immediately what I'm thinking. So I figure it might have something to do with the fact that like on a normal date, the photons, they bounce off me and they go into the retinas of the women I'm dating. So, you know, that's why I'm thinking the dating in the dark thing, it's gonna be huge for me. I just need a woman that's gonna be a straight shooter and be real. Nice, a little bubbly. Real nice. Oh my God, this is nice. Is that a thermostat? They got heating? This is fancy schmancy. Look at that, there's not even a single hole in the ceiling there. It's completely dry. Wow. And then, you know, there's like two other guys in here and three girls, but they're not even straight shooters from Jersey or like frankly, even the greater Philly area. So as far as I'm concerned, who cares? What's up, guys? Hey, hey what's, up? what's up, man? Hey, hey. My name's Rossi. I'm gonna be your host while you're here. Rossi. Me, Rossi. So just a little breakdown of what's going on. You guys are totally separated from the girls. The only times you get to interact with them is in the dark room. Okay. All right. For this first time. Joey doesn't look too happy about that, all right? He looks like he might have forgot what the premise of the show is, you know, between the last scene and now. This is what they see in the dark room. Okay, hold on, let me just confirm. Yeah. Okay, wow. I mean, all right, hold on, let me, let me cross-reference. Yeah, holy shit, yeah, that's exactly it. Wow, they show exactly what they see. Oh my God, I hear men's voices. <laughs> I can't <laughs> see Hola, como esta? Hello. Joey, you don't have to speak a different language, all right? They can't see you, that's the problem. They're blind, not Spanish. Some ladies. I'm gonna shake hands. Someone reach out again. I know, hey, hang on. I've got hair down. Joey, I'm Joey. Natasha. I'm Natasha. Hi, Joey. This is Kim. When I was in the dark room, when I first met the girls, I made it a point to shake their hand and do the Ray Charles wrist check because that to me was a sign to me like, okay, I can tell at least if they're thin or heavy. Joey, for God's sakes, you can't just. Are you for real? I felt Natasha's wrist and I just thought it was plump and I just kind of was turned off immediately. Listen, if Joey was smart, he would have gone for the real winning Ray Charles move and gone for the blind dollar bill check. And that's what I would have done. Listen, I don't know what kind of guy you think I am, but we're going halvesies on this dinner bill, okay? And you're paying me in quarters. I want to feel them land one by one, because we're in the dark, okay? How do I know you're not giving me a Washington and claiming it's a Benjamin, okay? I wasn't born yesterday. So if you don't excuse me, just, I'll take those now. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Just hold on, just, it takes a minute. I think you're pretty nice. So what do you guys feel after you have like a child? Like what, what? do you feel about, like what is your feeling about your bodies? 
This is the strangest question to ask on a date. So yeah, not that Joey needs any help, because clearly his methods are working as intended on their own. But yeah, he does get a little lifeline from his friend in the next segment here, where all the cast members' friends have like recorded testimonials about their friends for the other people. So needless to say, it gets uh, fun and interesting. I love Joey. I always have. He's a great guy with a heart of gold that he wears right on his sleeve. He did do this one weird thing back in 98 where he killed a woman on a bridge in Scotland with an FF7 buster sword, but ultimately he was acquitted because she ended up dropping a rare mithril bangle and he was willing to share the loot with the authorities. So in my eyes, and more importantly, in the eyes of UK common law, he's technically innocent until officially proven guilty in a crown court. And realistically, it's been like 11 years, that probably will not happen. Love you, bud. See you back in Jersey. We'll catch some beers. Oh, that is not true at all. I saw some silver linings in that video. For the last date of the day, Natasha invited Joey. So when Natasha walks in, it's like, all right, I'm just gonna get down to it. So then I asked her, Natasha, would you, you know, just please stand up because I want to get, you know, your full figure. This is okay? This is okay. My fight or flight reflexes are telling me I don't really have a choice but to feel like it's okay, so. <laughs> it was admittedly awkward, but kind of fun. Oh my God, this guy's really going no holds barred. Look, if you're gonna traumatize the woman, at least save her some time, okay? Get out the old school cartoon belly pincher thing. Get the correct measurement on the first try. Hold still, this will just take a second. I'm gonna run a quick battery of tests on you. Uh, it'll be over before you know it. Oh wow, very healthy, very rich. Yeah, a girl could be proud of these. I'll just slot these back. Unbelievable vitals. I mean, how do you keep your hypothalamus at such a stable temperature? I'm just gonna use a bit of echolocation here. Don't get startled. <coughs> Superb curvature. Yeah, okay, I think a second date's in order. Okay, so how did it go? Joey, we're bust, I'm in love. No! It's beautiful. And imagine all the beautiful things he's probably saying on the other side. All right, so that was with Natasha. Yeah, how'd that oh. go? But she definitely has like a little uh, floater around the side, <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, to be in love again. So then for this next part, the guy comes back out and he gives them all like compatibility scores based on God knows what. And it's clearly not even like actually on the TV there. It's just shittily slapped on in post. All right, so this is all based on your pre-interviews, questionnaires you guys filled out before you came, and the opinions of experts. And by experts, I mean experts, and not build a sound technician who's right back there in that camera control room behind this dummy wall that doesn't, you, that doesn't look like it has a door, but that he's in there. It's not him. So when I first saw that me and Natasha were the ones that were compatible, I really almost blew myself, because, you know, she is on the and I would have thought the algorithm could tell that I'm not into fat bitches, okay? And now Joey's gotta get a diaper. I'm a straight shooter from Jersey, not a fucking baby. Okay, so I was dating a girl. She was thin, the whole nine, it was great. And then after about like four or five months, she got real comfortable and she blew up like a tick. You said that Absolutely. to your girlfriend? Absolutely, I said you blew up like a tick. This guy is suddenly in a, in a nosedive for this date and it only got worse from there. And as for the big red flag, of course I heard it, you know, waving around in there. I'm not deaf, okay? But tell me in the dark it didn't look like deep blue or purplish or something. Who's suspicious of a blue flag? I just thought it was like nationalistic or something. How'd it go, man? It went great. She's not a floater. She's not, everything you've said about her has been wrong? It has, she does not have a ring really at all. Yeah, I'm wrong. Everything I've said's been wrong. I think she likes me too. So are we playing Uno or what, boys? I went down the whole nine, bro. I was like, <laughs> wow. and then back up. She didn't feel objectified by you. Doing no, that. not at all. That's interesting. If I'm 78% compatible with that, then I need to change a lot about who I am. That or 22% is a bigger number than I thought. That conversation was dominated by the fact that he doesn't like fat women. What? I did not know this. I'm completely shocked by this. I thought when he had me stand on that scale at gunpoint, like he was just doing a bit. He used the term, blew up like a tick, half a dozen times. And he originally didn't want to The wine has been passed. The girlfriend squad is officially in play. Here, you'll need this. It's a standard issue antidepressant helmet. Watch here, okay? Apparatus. And La Boca, that's French for don't stop sucking till your tears become ethanol. He originally didn't want to choose me for the date because he thought I was thicker. What? Are you kidding me? He said that? Yes, that's why he didn't like me was he thought I was chubby. Exactly. Oh, Girl, there are way more reasons to treat you like dirt. 
Trust me, being fat is the least of your problems. Oh, I'm so I insulted. He's so gross. I can't, I'm so sorry. So after this turn of events, uh, no one picks Joey and he has to go home alone, <laughs> which I know, I like you, the viewer, am shocked at this turn of events. Easily one of the greatest twists in American television. And then at the very end, you know, they do this uh, cute little thing where they finally reveal what everyone looks like to each other and it's good times all around. Now I've learned these things can go way different than I think they're gonna go. Yo, I thought love was only true in fairy tales, meant for someone else, but not for me, you know what I'm saying? No, but for real, I'm fairly certain I'm in the wrong place. It's been dark in here for like a long time. Do you know where I am? Do you know where we are? <laughs> no, I'm fucking scared. Oh no, it appears we're out of time this week. But don't worry, the next two contestants will make their appearance on the next episode of the JonTron Dating Show Dating Show. No, seriously, I've, there's really a part two to this, like pretty soon after this one. So please come back and watch it because I worked just as hard on it and I gambled a lot on making this much dating show content for you guys. So please come back or I'm fucked. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.